first couple to kiss and tell. It's Keith Duffy and his wife, Lisa! Keith and Lisa met in the early 1990s before Boyzone ever existed. Keith was instantly attracted to Lisa, but she thought he looked like a poser. Nice to see you. So before we have a chat, let's see what you said about each other. Oh, lovely. Myself and Keith are together for 15 years now. We first met through mutual friends um, in, on the club scene in Dublin. My first attraction to Keith was definitely his body. <laughs> <laughs> when myself and Lisa met, she supported me financially. I was the one with the steady job. So if we're going club and I didn't have money to pay into the club, I would pay in from. But my God, she got me back. <laughs> Myself and Lisa are complete opposites. She's into cleaning, you know. This the house is spotless. This is the longest I've sat in the sofa without Lisa fixing the, the cushions behind me. <laughs> that is not true. Am I less tidy? Absolutely. I think most of the time I am just to wind her up. Keith is a very romantic person. He tries to surprise me and does all those nice things, and I love that about him. It's very nice. I'm blushing now. <laughs> She's just a very, very Caring, funny, charismatic, intelligent, beautiful lady. You big romantic. You're ending for financial gain. <laughs> and an easy life. Absolutely, yeah. you better believe it. So, Lisa, did you really think that Keith was a bit of a poser when you first met him? I did, yes. So, not attractive, or, or was it oh, what, very attractive. immediately yeah. attractive <laughs> to Too him? attractive, yeah. And was it mutual? Absolutely. It was, it was, it was yeah. <laughs> Very attractive, but she was quirky as well, you know. She was always the centre of attention in a, in, a, in, a, in a room, you'd kind of, you'd hear her before you'd see her. What, drunk? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> With a bottle of wine hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a joke, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, Dad, and I go home now. <laughs> Okay. The very best of luck to Thank both you very of much. you. Much. And Thank it you. is time to play All Star Mr. and Mrs. Let's move the booth. <laughs> the rules are very simple. Both partners will be asked the same questions, and all they have to do is to match the answers. So to win the game, they must simply say the same. So, Lisa, I think it's your turn to go first into the booth, please. Thank you. Go See in you there, later, so comfortable. They're nice glasses, aren't they? <laughs> they're the best. So, she can't see, she can't hear. If I asked her to do that, she wouldn't do it, by the way. <laughs> We're going to ask Keith three questions and then we will bring Lisa back out of the booth and ask her the same three questions. And to win the game, their answers simply need to match. So are you ready, Keith? I am. Here we go. Question one. Boyzone have recently been reunited, very successfully. But what did Lisa most worry about during your Boyzone early glory days? Was it the screaming groupies? Was it that you would forget the words to the songs? Or was it that you would suffer a wardrobe malfunction? Um, forget the words. That, that could be a potential winner, that one. Do you make <laughs> a me. habit of forgetting the words? No, I don't make a habit of it. It just happens on its own. <laughs> 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 I don't have much choice in the matter sometimes. It, it's OK. I always have Ronan close by. He seems to know what he's doing, so that works for me. Um, <laughs> I go, I go with number two on a, on a quick note there, yeah, definitely number two. Forget the words to the songs. Yeah. Okay, okay. good, thank you. Here's your second uh, question. Now, apart from when you posed for this picture... <laughs> what would Lisa say is the biggest surprise you have given her? <laughs> you were thinking the same as me, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, what would Lisa say is the biggest surprise you have given her. Oh, do you not give me four? No, no you just can pick whatever one. you like, you know. OK, what surprises them more? Well, you see, I'm very good at these surprise things. I've given her a few. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a few I can't mention. <laughs> the few that I can mention, um, our engagement party was a surprise. I got all our old mates back together and done that whole thing. Did she mm. know she was getting engaged that night? No, but she was seven months pregnant, so that was kind of oh. a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> after that, then, was it? Yeah, we did go to New York and she thought we were going on holiday, but in fact we were flying to Vegas to get married mm. on the cheap. But, uh, <laughs> good mistake. Yeah. I didn't know she was getting married. She didn't know. How much notice did she get for her wedding day? I told her that she had a day to get her dress and that we were getting married the day after. Why did she take that? Um, she, well, she cried, so I thought that was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you going to say? Uh, the it's, it's, surprise. One, it's one or the other. Let me go with New York. Let me go with the surprise that we're going to Vegas to get married. So the marriage surprise. The marriage surprise, yeah. OK. Question three, Keith. As well as being in Boy Zone, you've also done your fair share of acting, recently starring in the Irish soap. What's it called? Fair City. Fair City. Yes, indeed. But when was the last time you needed to use your acting skills in real life? Was it when Lisa asked if her bum looked big in this? Or, well, not this, obviously, but, you know, something similar. Your bum looks great, by Thank the way. <laughs> so was it when you had to pretend to enjoy a meal that Lisa had burnt? Or was it when you expressed delight at a present that she'd given you that actually you hated? Or something else? Um, the bum thing could, could be a, a goer there. But usually what she says to me... Does my bum look big in these jeans? I tell her it's not the jeans. It doesn't work. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's great when you get away with them. They're wearing these things. She's I mean, going to watch this back! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I better start to hold myself. <laughs> we'll go with the bum. The bum? Yeah, because it's not the cooking and it's... Um, not the present that you had to say you loved and actually didn't like? No, my acting skills weren't that good that time. <laughs> OK. But she popped it. So it was definitely the bum. Bum. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you're not laughing because you know I'm dead, don't you? <laughs> OK, let's get her out. Oh, is that it? Great. Lisa, would you please leave the booth? <laughs> well, Keith has given us his answers, and uh, to win the game, all you need to do is to say the same. Your answers must match. Right, question one. Lisa. As we know, Boyzone have recently reunited, but what did you most worry about during the early Boyzone glory years? Was it that Keith would forget the words to the songs? Was it that Keith would suffer a wardrobe malfunction? Or was it the screaming groupies? <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's laughing because we have a right, you know what I mean? Uh, I think I'm going to go for the first one. Forget the words of the song. Correct! <laughs> Well done. I shouldn't like the fact that we got that one right, though. <laughs> so here's your second question. Lisa, apart from when Keith posed for, uh, for this picture, what would you say is the biggest surprise he has ever given you? And there are no options, I'm afraid. What's the biggest surprise he's given you? Um, he, he, flew, he flew me to New York, and we were out for dinner, and he just spoke to me like, Lisa, tomorrow... We're getting on a plane, and we're going to fly to Vegas to be married. <laughs> what was your reaction to that? I nearly passed out. Um, it was complete and utter, oh my God. Was it a good surprise or a terrifying one? Shocking. Mm -hmm. Petrifying. Well, I'll tell you what, it paid off because that was a match. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, by the way, can I just say, the reason it was delivered, like, tomorrow, we were getting on the plane was because I was so nervous. Yeah. And Ronan was actually with us at the table and he was kicking me under the table saying, tell her, tell her. And to this day, Stephen and Ronan still slag me. They reckon I was like Silla Black and surprise, surprise. Tomorrow, Lisa, <laughs> we're getting on a plane. <laughs> we're going to Las Vegas. <laughs> OK, question three. As well as being in Boys Zone, obviously Keith has done quite a bit of acting as well. Mm. But when was the last time Keith said he needed to use his acting skills in real life? Was it when Keith had to pretend to enjoy a meal that you had burnt? Was it when Keith expressed delight at a present you'd bought for him that he hated? Or was it when you asked Keith if your bum looked big in this? Or maybe it was something else? I'm going to go for the present. Oh, no, so man. No. You're bum, baby, you're bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I am now actually just nervously <laughs> shuffling my cards. Let's move on. Let's move on. Well done. At the end of your round, you've got two matches, and uh, they will be back later to play in the his and hers round. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, it is Keith and Lisa. Yeah.